<laughs> there you go. What did I tell you? Even as I was describing the situation to you, the sabotage, the industrial sabotage takes place. Very good, very good. Well, not so good, really. I'm now, as I'm always prepared. I mean, these things can happen, but it can't close me down. They can, they can throw anything they like at me. They can burn the whole studio down, but you can't keep a good man down. You can't suppress the true artist. And uh, yeah, we've, we've, you know, the terrible trio, fabulous with their technology and their industrial sabotage. They've got the people they can put into action, you know, and, uh, but you know, they know they're f the frauds. They know they're the ones suffering from imposter syndrome, not me. So um, we, we persevere and we, we prevail against such odds. And, and so here I am again, that little show of theirs has not put anything back in actual fact, it just makes a laughing, laughing stock of themselves, doesn't it? So anyway, here we go. Um, I haven't been able to find the questions. Uh, and I suspect, as I said, well, we know, we know why. So um, uh, what they can't do is, is do anything about my rather massive intellect and, um, and, and my ability to, to be resourceful. So I just simply thought, well, I haven't got any questions, can't find the questions. I'll see what other people in a similar role to me has been asked, and I'll answer those questions as if they were being asked to me. And so I went on to the internet and um, uh, looked at YouTube, first of all, and I typed in, I was going to type in James and the Perfect Peach, but um, frankly, well, you know, I'm rather, rather, um, I'm not going to call the next series such a long-winded title. Uh, so I just typed in James or, or Peach and Perfect, and uh, up comes Peach Perfect, of all things. And uh, I immediately realised I'd made a mistake and thought, oh, that's not, that's not, that's not me. I was about to, you know, scroll, up, scroll on when I realised that the, the person presenting Peach Perfect was a rather attractive young lady and um, and I don't know something whispered in my ear I don't know what it was uh, just you know see see her out see see what she got to say and um, and, 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 and then move on if, if necessary so that was rather serendipitous because uh, um, peach perfect she was using peach in the same way as I was using the word peach as a sort of uh, aphorism I suppose for the derriere and uh, the lady presenting the rather beautiful young lady Alex Glass her name is an American lady and uh, she her, her stock in trade is is well ostensibly it's um, articles of clothing and she'll gallop off down to the the mall and she'll max out her credit card and uh, buy as much clothing well, as far as little clothing, should I say, as many as many items as she can, but the smallest amount of material that she can, if that makes sense. And she'll she'll you know, ankle on back home, and uh, and then show us what they look like on her. And um, I say ostensibly because actually I think she's rather more keen on us seeing what's not being covered up by these small pieces of clothing and uh, and good good on her because you know what's not been covered up is lovely to see and she uses every opportunity she can to show us her ass and that's good and it's quite apposite to what I'm doing you know it's uh, um, you know, my series was talking about you know my attempt to to locate and then represent the perfect ass and uh, and there she is showing what she believes and I think many of us would also believe to be the perfect ass. And um, yes, anyway, she, she had a, a questions and answers session too. And um, I rather think that um, her competitors tried to nobble her because the questions she was answering have nothing to do with um, uh, what she was doing really. 
Um, it all it actually all seems a little bit innocuous because uh, incongruous, should I say? Because um, you know, there she is sporting these these lovely pieces of clothing, and um, but which, if you bear in mind that North America, I've learned very recently that forty percent of the population of North America are morbidly obese. Um, why a population like that would be have any interest in in g-strings and tiny little bikinis? I don't know. Um, but anyway. She has a huge following, like myself, and um, uh, and uh, it's not for me to, to to you know gainsay what she's doing. Anyway, so to these questions, they do seem a little bit uh, inappropriate, I suppose, to what she's doing. Certainly inappropriate to what I'm doing, but you know, I've been asked to answer these questions, answer questions to you. I haven't been asked or told what questions I should be answering, so I'm just going to. You know, use her questions as a template and as I say I suspect she's done the same to someone else's videos and uh, so it's probably gone on for years and years and years until finally it arrives at the dizzy heights of the preeminent stone sculptor that is McAllister Hood anyway so are you ready the very first question can you guess what it might be the question is are you single uh, as you say I'm not going to go on about the uh, the, the um, incongruousness of, of the questions but um uh, uh, i've got no time <laughs> have i i don't think i've got any time oh i think i have i just haven't found the timer properly um i only have 15 minutes uh, per, per session so i'm always a bit worried about the time uh or has it been sabotaged like the uh the film anyway um am i single no i'm not single i am married i have been married for about 15 odd years uh, no, 30 odd years, um, and uh, I'm, I'm not quite sure where my wife is or, or, or when I last saw her. I don't think I've seen her actually for more than 10 years now, which is somewhat alarming, being that we are married. Um, but she's not a bad woman, or wasn't a bad woman, so I suspect something... Um, real has happened rather than she's not gone off with some other chap i mean why would she why would she you know? um but uh it's my guess that well you know you remember i talked about my journey my voyage through the various genders um and sexual orientations that are possible i think she married me believing to me to be one thing and then after we got married, I married tonight, only to discover um, that I was something else entirely. And uh, bless her, she's a trooper because she's stuck with it. I know she's stuck with it. I remember she she was around. Um, well, there was issue from our relationship, from our marriage. And um, uh, I'm not going to say which of us bore the children. Um, but anyway, she's stuck with it through the childbirth and the upbringing of the children. And um, as only when the children went, I noticed that she wasn't around either. And um, I kind of, well, I don't know. I think I was in denial for a little while. Lost a lot of weight waiting for dinner. Um, but uh, ultimately I had to face the possibility that she was gone. Some might say, well, didn't I go and look for her? Did, you know, but I am an artiste, and you've got to understand that uh, my my attention is entirely in, in this area over here, the studio just behind you, and I haven't got time to feed myself or to to go looking for wives that have gone absent. So, um, in the meantime, the lovely agent and Ed, uh, lady Edgerton Warburton has turned up, and she she feeds me when she can, and uh, she 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 lavishes devotion upon me. We're very, very happy. I'm imagining that you're probably thinking, well, what about the equally lovely Helen Sharman, who's, you know, been making rather a lot of appearances here in the studio. Well, that's for me to know and you to find out, you know. Um, what happens, happens, doesn't it? You know, it's not, it's not for me to, to guide those things. I haven't got time. I'm, I'm an artist and I have to my attention to my art and uh, yes so 
care. So that's the answer to that question. Um, I think we can move on to the next question. Um, I've got a few questions down here. What, what are they? Well, what do you do? Rather, um, you know, for a living. Well, rather an impertinent question, I think, because um, it's quite obvious what the uh, lovely uh, Alex Glass does. And it's quite obvious what I do. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you also, and I think I have already mentioned before, that I do, a, you know, when I have time, I'll go down and do a bit of lifeguarding down at the local um, swimming pool. And uh, I do that, really, because I think it's only fair for me to share my face. I can't live in the studio all the time or, you know, work in the studio all the time without letting people see me. So I go off and do that. I think that's the most... Most people get to see me that way. I can sit up on the chair and everyone can watch me as they're swimming past. And um, so I do that. So that's so that's that question answered there. Bath or shower, I think, was the, the next question. Uh, okay. Um, well, you're going to think, because the answer to that is neither. I neither bath nor shower. And, and you're going to think, oh my goodness me, you're going on about those dirty Russian bastards um, and and you're just as bad if not worse yourself and well I'll qualify the answer by saying I prefer the sea or the river or the lake um, we're landlocked here so I don't get to see go to the sea very often though I was down there uh, last weekend um, but um, uh, the rivers and the lakes are lovely they're cool refreshing and uh, and the water soft on the skin and leaves my skin feeling soft and utterly desirable for a long time afterwards. Um, well, possibly better than all of that, I think, is the hose. It's just outside the studio here. I love the hose. Um, I stand. I mingle in amongst the horses, hoping that the uh, the, um, the the dear little stable girl doesn't notice and. Um, she she does always notice, well, sometimes a little bit too late. She does exhort me to either come back, you know, put some clothes on or some swimming trunks on at the very least, and um, and then she runs off, um, threatening to report me as always. Um, but so I, I'll do that myself. I'll shower myself down, or hose myself down after I've been for a run, and uh, me and the sweaty horses, we all get a good old refresh from there. So I think that answers that question. So um, so neither, but you know other options are available aren't they so i think that's probably all we've got time for now i'm going to go and uh, raid the wine over there I haven't touched a drop all day so uh, you probably see why i'm a bit jittery now so um uh i'll come back if i'm complimentous a bit later today and uh, we'll crack on if not when i've recovered I'll, uh, I'll, I'll i'll restart the session again loads of more questions to ask answer and um i'm gonna have great fun uh sharing the answers with you Bye now and have a good good, e good evening.